Hi, I'm Judy and this is another Read the Stars video. You know, I'm getting really, really, really sick of Mercury Retrograde. How about you? If you'll see on the site, readthestars.com, there is an article about Mercury and things that I've gone through since it's gone retrograde, from losing my sunglasses to misplacing my keys to my cell phone, and I have some funny pictures up there that I think you're going to enjoy. Um, of some creative ways to hold one hold one's cell phone to one's body. Not great for the thing about the brain cancer, but it works for taking it with you. <laughs> so I wonder how you're doing with Mercury retrograde, because this is the last week of it. Yes, um, on Saturday, Mercury will go direct. I sometimes don't know whether to uh, call it and say, come on, Mercury, help me, or just go stay away till you go direct, because I'm sick of you. Um, it really has been a, a kind of funny, actually, around here. Thank goodness nothing terrible has happened. I also would like to point out some things that are going on in the news, like the FAA. That's a really big Mercury retrograde kind of thing, you know. Um, what is going on, you know, air, con air traffic controllers falling asleep, planes blowing apart. Um, these are all Mercury things. And see, there's where you see the good stuff. That, and then I talk about a car repair as well. Mercury will always bring out the need for these things. Hopefully no one dies in the process, but there's always, you know, that positive that we, we see like a need to make a repair or to fix something. And, and this can also go for ourselves, especially since it's in Aries and it's all about who we are as people. But the main message I think that Mercury has given, especially to those of us who have that impatience and impetuousness of Aries prominent in our charts, myself included, um, it has told us to slow down, take it easy. I actually finally caught myself yesterday eating my dinner and staring at the pattern in my oriental rug that I have my parents gave me. And I sat and I looked at it and I went, oh my gosh, I'm getting lost in the pattern. I'm starting to see different patterns. Do you ever do that? Well, maybe not for several decades, but um, <laughs> back in the age of psych psychedelia. But uh, yeah, you can do that stuff and, and really benefit from it because it, it's like food for your brain. And uh, I think, I think that it allows your brain to integrate, to get the left side and the right side to work together. So you can be creative and also analytical. So um, that's what's going on in the sky. And this is also the last day of the sun in Aries. So here in Western Pennsylvania, we are getting a little bit of signs of spring. The trees are saying, I don't care, sunshine, warm temperatures are not, here come the buds. So that's cool. I'm really happy to see them. But there was one other thing that happened this morning after I wrote the article, and I think that this was my punishment. The entire server system that, that supports ReadTheStars.com was down for about an hour. I apologize to those of you who were trying to get your horoscopes, but go back up there now and you'll get them. They're there. So if you have any questions for me, as usual, just send them along to Judy, J-U-D-I, at ReadTheStars.com.